Hello, hello, everybody. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome back to the Shrimp Shama. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, we've got some more Genshin Impact. What a surprise. <laughs> I've been playing this game non-stop, and I'm going to keep playing this game non-stop. Especially now, since I got freaking Razor! Sorry. I'm so happy. I am so beyond happy. I'm happy. I am happy. I am beyond happy. Guys, did I mention I'm happy? <laughs> so, how, okay, we're gonna just get into the gamey way me here. Yes, I did call the game the gamey way me. We're just gonna we're we're just going to get into this. So, um, since I know he's lurking, and I am going to call him out because I'm for a second, because I I love him, and also I really want to show him this. I I I I'm I'm extremely happy, Baltic. I have something to show you. I I I I I'm mm. <laughs> my boy, <laughs> my boy. Look at him. Look at him, my boy. So happy. Okay, we've got a quest. So me and a friend are supposed to be doing co-op a little later. And thank you. Um, I cannot do that while this quest is there. So We need to clear this out real quick. Aha, you made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery why the Liyue Chising would hide the Geo Archon's vessel. So, where is he? In Liyue Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner. As per the Liu custom. <laughs> Who is it? Welcome back, sir. <laughs> you honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Zhongli? Zhongli? Okay, this is either going to make or break whether I want to pull a Zhongli. Hi. Hmm? Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhongli. Consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. An associate of the Fatui? Indeed. Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. Walk in the shadows? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. That voice. Discretion? Shadows? <sighs> Is Wang Shen some kind of business involving dealing with people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. Uh, oh! <gasps> Hello, Baltic! How you doing? The Wang Sheng funeral parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Ostensibly? Well, they are still... Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhongli because... Because I... 
can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. Uh, but first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueyun Karst. That's true. The Adepti are staying away from the Yue. As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Well, they do have a D side to deal with. Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet. D side or not, the concern of the Wangsheng funeral parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the I more like his voice for his final send off to go unattended to. Traveler, child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? I accept your invitation. A wise decision. The Tianchuan Ning Guang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of pardon will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. <sighs> Looks like there's no other choice. If we are agreed, come with me. <clears throat> we will speak of the details as we walk. All right, my bridge building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. Where are you from? Also, Baltic, look, look, look. No! Don't leave! <laughs> don't leave! Also, Baltic. Baltic. Look at that! Look at that! I'm so happy! <laughs> I'm so happy, oh so happy, happy and giddy and happy. <laughs> oh wow. Also, are you ready to see the thing that made me kill my audience's ears last night? The thing that made me destroy all of their earphones was this. I am so happy. You have no idea. Whoa, what was that? Good work. Shall we repose for a moment with a tune? Shall it be a capriccio or a serenade? I I I I I I I'm so happy with this account. I'm never spending money on it again. <laughs> it's good. It's fine. N nope. <laughs> We're just gonna <laughs> keep right here. <laughs> <Don't worry about laughs> eternity. Is jelly? W why? Oh, hi, Zhongli. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon traveler. How does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? I prefer the atmosphere in Mondstadt. <laughs> I see. So you're that sort of person. 
It's not a bad thing. But I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Leo's 3,700 years of divinity. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Liu is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. What would child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then... Let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Okay. Can I do co-op now? I can do co-op now. Baltic, can you do co-op now? <laughs> that said, I want to... Okay, let's see here. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> Give me a second. I want to... Sure, let's go here. I want to show... I, I, I am so happy with this team clump. You don't even know. So come on, let's go look for a fight of some kind that we can get into. Sure. There's a boss over there with a treasure chest. So let me show you how gross this is. Life goes on. <laughs> like, look at that damage. I'm so happy. We, I love my, I, I love my precious bean boy. Get meat. There's a treasure chest down there. dead whoops um world level can you increase please world level can you increase please
I'm so happy right now. I'm so, so happy. So beyond ecstatic. Oh man, he hits hard. Right, go. I love this character so much. He is exactly my playstyle. I am even just one. He is so much my playstyle. Okay. Um, where are we going? Sure. Sure. Up we go. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um... What was it again? Nocta Lucas Jade, of radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, not to Lucas Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. Hey! But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? What do you think, Mr. Zongli? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... I'll take them all, boss. What? Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. That's a lot of money. Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, are we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? Actually, it's two times more, Mora. Oh. Mora, hmm, it is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all hmm. things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. What? What? He's talking about economics. Is this how the rich live? Well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. 
No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Hmm. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame or that your heat control was poor. I have... Okay. I have theories about him. I... I... I'm looking at his outfit. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated. But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. And a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger, the patterns, the facade. These are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness, and so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. Is this normal life for a high class gentleman? I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Paimon's just said that we might never be able to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? Then can we get some small samples? That would... well... fine. As you wish, then. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. I'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. So thin. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. How stingy. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more and you may as well have my neck. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Mm -hmm. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. I remember spots in Dadupad Gorge. Oh, Paimon remembers. We once saw this big pot down at the Dada Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the meeting tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Okay. Fine. That's all right. Why are things getting so easy, by the way? I didn't power up my character that much. I guess it's because I actually have a team that can do some damage now. Yeah. It has been a long time since I last set foot in the nation of wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came Grab. to visit me in Liuat. Grab. It must Got be it. said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. E boy, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Oh, that's the pot. It looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a big boy, but we gotta cut the line. Persona! Sorry. Nope. Goodbye. Shame to let it go to waste. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. That's a big ass bowl. Hey, Toxic, how you doing? Welcome to the shrimp stream. How might you be? How are you doing today? Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Got my first plus 35 weapon. Nice! I wonder... Frozen. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Looking on working, getting ha Vista Hearthstones to get it. Okay. Wolf. Wolf. Look who I got. Look at him. Look at him. You smell nice. Let's hunt. You are my friend. We can hunt together. Okay, he looks cool. He is so cool. Also. Hold on. Game froze. 
Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. 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 So nice. So nice. No, no, no. I maxed out her constellation. And... To make the situations better... <laughs> I'm so happy. I, I I'm okay with this account. I'm And I'm actually gonna about to hop on. Nice. Nice and spicy. Oh, that's bright. Too bright. <sighs> that was the third Noctu Lucas Jade, wasn't it? It was so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that. <laughs> Sorry. Back to the Jade Mystery to buy some Jade, shall we? Let's skip. Give me a moment to compose myself. Mm, I'm just so happy, especially yeah. since he's going to be like leaving soon. I, I, I thought, I legitimately thought. I think I have him. Not sure. If you have him, you're lucky. I legitimately thought that um, I would not be. Um, that I would not be getting Venti. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? I would like the third Noctilucus shade. Exactly! That's the one Baimon remembers too! No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done! All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need parting. Oh dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This this means that Rex Lapis really is. Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. What? Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. 
If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good, honest merchants such as yourself, I, for one, believe that Liyue will continue to prosper as it always has done. So let's not get ourselves down just yet. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. What? Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. A local Liyue who doesn't have money on their mind. I have them on me. <sighs> That's a relief. Have a look. It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though to be honest, it'd be all right even if the sum wasn't quite enough. What? Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Yujing Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. How much you want to bet that Zhong Li, Zhang Li? is Rex Lapis. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Please remember to bring money next time. <laughs> I will do my best. You have my thanks. I really think he's Rex Lapis. Yeah, I have Razor. Razor is so good. I freaking love Razor. He is exactly what I wanted in my playstyle. So he complements the way I play the game so well. Well, that's insulting. Ah, uh, I see something over here. Grab that. Oh, there's more. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. And there's more? What? Where? Hello? Where's the more? Where's the more? Over here? Oh, there it is. Hey, okay. Now we continue. I'm stuck at rank nine. Uh, dailies and quests. Also exploring. It's it's not hard to rank up early. to shake them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So as for the jewel smith's remuneration. We'll pay the jewel smith when he arrives. Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this why we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. The rite of dissension took place here too. That's right. The Liu and Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. Hmm. But when something this big happened here, 
Should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. Wonder what that's about. Also, the... uh... Rex Lapis Vessel... Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Chi-Sing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. It still feels very odd. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Hmm. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. So the best way I can say to rank up early is search for animo, um, uh, animunculi, uh, feed those to your statue of the seven, and just kind of wander around exploring, do dungeons, etc., etc., etc. Any quests that, any side quests or quests that may pop up as well. Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. The Qixings provides the location, and Child provides the funds. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. Uh -huh. It's time for Jean Li's lectures on high society again. <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. Hey! AR-32! I didn't mean to do, uh, to rank up. <laughs> oh.
I'm not gonna level up Chi Chi just yet. Is it down below? Is it down here? Yep. Oh, it's you again. Hey, boss. Do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The best kind? Remind Paimon what kinds there are again. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden housemaiden, valley weaver, and fate's yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. I... I have theories. You two must be his He's... servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. This is what I get for calling Paimon emergency food. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Oh, I need to check after this cutscene. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This I really green, think he's Rex Lapis. Complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal. And when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow, a true connoisseur. Most of that was news even to me. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. I'm still an ignoramus on horticulture. I'll take them all, boss. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the Seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> do you have any mora on you? Uh. You forgot to bring money again? Uh, we... I see a pattern emerging here. Uh, if I may interject. Did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I 
heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's I the least Paimon. I could do. I hate her. I hate her. I don't like it. So, now uh. that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately... None of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. Well, now we know what Paimon's interested. <laughs> Ro I don't. Hi, Rogue. How you doing? Oh, hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I know there's not many of us in here at the moment, but I positively have fallen in love with Miss Rogue's streams. She's fantastic. She's amazing. And one of the best streamers I have seen of late. Please go check her out if you haven't follow, followed her yet. She's so entertaining and so fun to talk to. It, it, please do. Please. How you doing today, Rogue? How you doing? I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lan! She's the master of the Liyue branch, right? Rogue! I got my precious boy! <laughs> Look! I am not. No, no, I'm just speaking the truth! I got my precious boy! I'm doing great. I got my precious boy. You smell nice. Let's hunt. I, I got my precious bead. I love him so much. I, I know. Now we know what Paimon's into. I also maxed out um Barbara and I got the Venti. I got Venti. Oops, there's a there's a thing there. Uh let's try it again. I I, I was so happy. So, okay. There's a I have a theory. Oh, you he does have Ooh, I have a really big theory. I have a theory that r I'm like, eh, with Venti? Why eh, with Venti? But Keiki. There she is. There she is. Oh wait, I have to go over here first. Cutie, that's me. I mean, 
she me too. Mmm, so close. I must, I must have her and she will be mine. Okay. So. Oran, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry you too, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. Do you know how to make a performance? <laughs> wow. Just wow. <laughs> Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret? If I had a character a while back named Lon, because I'm a story writer and I've. Mm. And now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Just hit rank 10. Congrats! Which, by the way, Rogue, how was Genshin Impact last night? How far did you get? Uh, no, they were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lon. See you around. Mmm, Paimon's emergency food. Paimon is emergency food! <laughs> I love him. Look! Look! His legs! They flail up when he swings down! It's so heavy! I'm sorry. Hello. How may I help? We've come to ask you a question. Do you know how to make perfume? Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. Mm -hmm. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many of the me with Kiki. To make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything they'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need. Finally, we're getting somewhere. I could not do this. I'm so antisocial and so scared to ask anybody anything. I'll be like, oh, you, you smell pretty. You, you, you smell, you smell, you, you, you smell night. Where would per, per, per yeah. <laughs> I am so, so antisocial and so awkward. Uh, Adventurer, think you can last a round against me? Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? What? How did you know we were coming? Hello? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who was snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. <laughs> that... <laughs> Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? <laughs> What'd I say? I didn't say anything! What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. Right? You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? A bespoken triple silk flower variety. 
three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet smelling ammunition. Is that it? It's for Lex. It's for Rex Lapis. Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Oh, this girl. Um, this took a turn. Drippo! How you doing? Shang Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant, but you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your This is worse than Lisa. Oh my god. I I might have to put something. Okay, so the Japanese voice actress for Lisa played this game on PS4 and it was the funniest thing I've ever heard. I was deceased. Okay. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? How about the kitchen at Zhang Ling's place? You mean Wan Min restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. Why is she seductive? So seductive. <laughs> Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Finish. Deep and tasty chop suey. I've had a word. There with Chef is. Mo. I we might start work now. Are you ready to okay. please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud as oh. my assistant, obviously. Oh. You're aware we're probably like 14 years old, madam. Madam, we're not that old. This is not appropriate. Well, I'm setting up. You can go and fetch some water. Okay. Guys, I'm going to have to show you that video. Okay, hold on a second. Let me let me display capture. Get this up. Here we go. We ready? We ready? Okay. This is priceless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ね、私今落ちるとこなの。危ないわ。危ないわ。飛んで。リサ。リサ。死なないで。嘘かい。うがちなさい。うがちなさい。行くわよ。痺れなさい。痺れなさい。よかった。大丈夫? <laughs> I was so happy when I saw that. That made me happy. <laughs>
<laughs> I keep watch. You leave. Lisa! <laughs> okay, where am I going? Have you fetched the water? No. Have a look behind Wan Min Restaurant. Chef Mao is a professional chef. He must keep a store of pure water. <sighs> so in other words, I'm gonna have to. Am I gonna have to buy it? But you didn't. Oh no, I'm not. No, I am not. That's dupe. That dupe. Risa. <laughs> From now on, whenever I, whenever, whenever Lisa pops on, I just hear that one. Qu I, I, I need to make that an, an audio command. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Actually, you know what? I might have to do an exclamation Lisa command. This water will do nicely. Now. I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent mm. rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Okay, I get it. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Are we really talking about perfume anymore? I don't feel comfortable, kids. I don't feel okay. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> Leak of the wrist. Juices with the <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. I, I don't know. I don't know what Rain Slasher is. Rain Slasher? It's it's good. It's it's decent. I prefer the prototype Atomus uh, because you can easily get it to tier five. You can get it to five easier, and also fifty percent chance to deal three hundred percent damage to enemies within a small AOE is really nice. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. Oh, she makes me uncomfortable. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. I feel uncomfortable. Okay, perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. I told you, it's not like that. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. 
you can talk to a granny about adult toys would that make you more any more comfortable no no i would not no it would not make me more comfortable drepo that would be the opposite of making me more comfortable in fact it would make me extremely uncomfortable and probably get doxxed by twitch <laughs> This is a child-friendly stream! Family-friendly! <laughs> Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll I... ruin the mood. I... I think I got it. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. Uh. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I don't feel good. I I I don't. What mood? I don't think we want to know. I don't think that's something we want to know. Okay, I need to do this. Real quick. Also, I can show Rogue the disgusting combo that I have. Oops, I didn't mean to start. Oh well. Okay, with Kiki and Barbara. Life goes on. Okay. Listen here. Let's play. Yeah. Yeah. gliding be? Wouldn't gliding be faster? Brace yourself. Yeah. Time for takeoff. How rude. Yeah. Here we go. Hydro Electro is like my favorite combo right now. Here we go. Oh, these are level fifty nine. Okay. Time for takeoff. Ow. 
yourself. Or a cryo. Oh, it's cr that's probably the best debuff in the game. Go. Let's dance. Let's play. Time for takeoff. Okay. Okay, now watch this. I'm finally able to deal damage. Okay, where'd you go? Superconduct? Ah! Where'd you go? Ah, uh, he's suck. Okay, it's sucking my ulti. There we go. And you can't even freeze them. Yeah, Abyss. My favorite is the energy between Hydro and Cryo and Electro. Yeah. No, just uh, one of the weekly dungeons. I need some of the resources for ascension materials. So. I needed to do that. Also, hi, lady. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome. Guys, also. Guys. I should be. I will make time. Guys, if you have not heard of Lady the Laddie, she's a dear, 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 dear friend of mine. They are fantastic. They're beautiful. I, I love every second. I, I, I love them to death. If you guys have not heard of them, please, you're doing yourself a disservice. Please go give them a follow. You will not regret it. Actually. Ooh. Okay. Go there. Yeah, I need to farm level 40 world bosses for the ascension materials. That's kind of where I'm at, too. Okay. Oh. Uh, I accidentally got that, but that's fine. If you want help on that, let me know. Okay, so I know there was something else I needed to do. I know there's something else I needed to do. What else did I need to do? There's something else I needed to do. I mean... Probably... Should... 
good. Fight. Where is it? There it is. This guy. No problem, Rogue. It's no big deal. Okay, I needed to do this guy. I need to do this guy over here. Well, don't really have to. Should probably actually... Yeah, you know what? I need to do lightning more. I official in the exorcist boy. Yeah, I really want him. I really want him. Okay. Party set up. I, 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 but I will get him eventually. We're gonna get Wouldn't some. Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs> yeah. Let the show begin! Yahoo! <laughs> I really like Venti. I really do like Venti. Look at that beautiful, beautiful damage. Oh, hey, Ark, I found something. Of a cheat. I'm just gonna hang here. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang here. I'm just gonna hang out. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang there. <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? Brace yourself. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> Time for takeoff. Wait, huh? Huh. Brace yourself. I really like Venti. I really like Venti. I really like Venti a lot. 
He's a lot of fun to play. Brace yourself. Mm. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Oh, protect us! <laughs> Let's play! Goodbye. <laughs> Kiki Mona kicking it with me for Inventi for CC suck. Casually dropping all your five star com. I mean, I'm not gonna not use them. <sighs> I mm, still hate Ark. Ark, still don't like you. Still not my favorite person because of all that. By the way, Ark, Zhongli is sexy. We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Listen to that man's voice! Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist, and it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? It looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the Chi-Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. What I'll tell you more did the child and the Qi-Sing have. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives- Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? <laughs> ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? <laughs> Mm. 
Hmm. Actually, hold on a second. Do I have anything else I can turn in? I do not. Gosh. It's gonna take forever. I need 29 of them. Twenty nine. Okay, Wolf, take your time. Enjoy your foods. Actually, food sounds good right about now. change uh, how do you do hmm. youngster are you here to admire the flowers ah but it's a shame these glaze lilies have almost all wilted what happened to them back in my day people said that glaze lilies can read human hearts if they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lilith? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. Hmm. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? We'd like to borrow something from you. Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngsters might want. I'm stretching. Okay. But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and I would pester him for that bell all the time. Mm. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I must not be loath to give it away. It has been many years, and... Who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. We can look for it for ourselves. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Oh, but this is Yujing Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. What? How does that work? In you go, Paimon. What? There's no way Paimon would fit in there. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't he just lift the lid and look inside? 
Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. This granny's so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Ah, I don't want to step on it. Whoa, okay. Okay. The old little lady, the little old lady who lived in the teapot. Hello? Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Oh, that sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? What is she? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old lady clean up. Who? Brace yourself. That's time for takeoff. Who exactly is this woman? Okay, I almost fell out. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> All right then. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome back, Wolf. Venti. Venti is so nice. Oh. Big spurter. Goodbye. Oh, there's more. Think 
think you can get away? Brace yourself. Oh man, that's disgusting. Ark, Venti's gross. Venti is disgusting. <laughs> oh, you found it. <laughs> the youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. How did this opening work again? Oh, dear. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. There's a chest on the slime platform. What slime platform? There's a lot of slime platforms. Stream delay has betrayed my advice. Oh, there it is. Thank you. I really do wish, uh, like, you could do this stuff with friends. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Are you an adeptus, ma'am? An adeptus? I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you already understand. Ah, Paimon kind of knows what you mean. But is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Neela Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. Mm. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is... What is wrong headed? Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't return it? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. <laughs> well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that 
If they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Okay. Claim those gems. Also, I've almost got enough for another multi summon. Why would you summon from this? Okay. Where am I going? Hello? Oh, over there. Um, I'm going to make myself something to eat and drink real quick. So I'm gonna BRB. Won't be long. See you soon.
Okay, I'm back. Did you guys miss me? Did you miss me? Huh? 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 Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? No? Okay, didn't think so. How you guys doing? How are you? Okay, so. Um, I want to address something real quick. So, there's a video going around. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Talking about, um, this right here. Um, Paimon Star Glitter Exchange. Um, so, some people are saying that there is a, um, that there's an image going around saying that Jean will be coming to Star Glitter Exchange, a five star basically. So, stay, save all your Star Glitter. Um, well, I do think you should be saving your Star Glitter. I don't think you should be spending it on anything except for characters. Um, this is all hearsay and rumor. Uh, do not, unless Mahoyo comes out and says it themselves, or you see an in-game screenshot, um, take it with a grain of salt. Don't, don't take any value into it. It's fun to theorize hypothesize and guess where the game's going and v in the future we very well might very well there's a very high possibility that we will see five stars in here but as of right now um unless you see an in-game scale screenshot or mahoyo themselves confirms it that's all it is it's just guess it's just um theory it's just um i'm hungry let's hunt it's do not take it anything about it seriously <laughs> yeah but i'd rather just save it for a character I'd rather just save them for a guaranteed character. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Do you know Madame Ping? Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> uh, that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. What? Ooh, Paimon loves kites. Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also <laughs> play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm... Oh, wait. That's what I was going to look at. 30. You just talk to adult toy granny after all. What?
betting on Jade? Life goes on. I'll protect us! Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well-versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Fashion, economics, jewelry, jade pottery... <laughs> Topics, money, and government really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. Oh. I have made kites in Liyuet for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Paimon's heard that name before! Shh! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. <laughs> As for the payment. As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Oh, hi, child. Did you arrange to meet us here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li is the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. It probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So, this quest has a lot of talking. A lot of talking. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions. But I don't do anything clerical. 
adventure. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Brave adventurer, we need five crystal flies. Eh, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. A pleasure doing business with you. <sighs> hmm. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. Twenty-five thousand per day. A fair <laughs> trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero. But it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Wait, let's talk prices. Hmm. How about ten thousand? That's too little. Hardly a fair price. Fifteen? This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. I don't like spending a lot of money and we had a <laughs> budget. Gosh dang it, sneezing. Oh, help? Sure. I tick. Always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Your voice sounds weird. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. Fetch me 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? No. Done. Wait, so let's talk prices. Sure. Oh, you're a straight shooter, huh? We have a deal. I'm not sure if I should have spent all the Mora, but... All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. I should have saved. I should have saved. I should have saved. <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Oh, God. Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? What else could the Fatui want? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy. The Boo Boo? Pharmacy in all of Boo Boo? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. 
I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. <laughs> Raymond definitely so felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Boo Boo Pharmacy? Really pretty. I have no idea what just happened there. Discord disconnected again. I don't know what's going on. Not Discord. Um, Twitch disconnected again. I don't know what's going on. I will fix this later. How about you go check it out and Vimon will bring up the rear. <laughs> It's so oh, cute. But you can't even reach the counter. Paimon, if you're gonna talk about height, you. Uh, on you, Paimon floats, so height is no restriction. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's a zombie. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. I love her. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Such nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. So cute! Oh, sorry of my life too shocked! Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? Look at her! I scared my cat away. I'm screaming too loud. I'm sorry, Thomas! I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi Chi can get your medicine, but only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. <laughs> orders? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. 
Okay then. <laughs> How did you manage that? But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. <laughs> Get her! Should I break just in time to see her? Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer to peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Lyra, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhung, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a Coco Goat. Please and thank you. <laughs> We're the Knights to say, and you must bring us one Coco Goat. <laughs> we are the Knights to say, Hunt the what with the witch at the where? Guizhong hmm. Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhong by an <laughs> in the distant past. An early mechanical. <laughs> that must be a I love it. <laughs> Located in Chinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters. Protecting Lyra from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Lyra inside out. Apparently, not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adept beast. Did you want to add anything else? Or... No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. I love her. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. What? Do tell us anything else you don't remember. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a Coco Goat? I love her. Hold on. <laughs> uh oh, it's me! Hey, Ness, how you doing? <laughs> I feel like she, she's quite beside herself. <laughs> the power! So much! Too much, Gigi! Too much, Gigi! <laughs> okay, onwards. Chichi, meet Chichi, <laughs> right? <laughs> I also see you're especially punny mood today. Hey, Ness, it's been a while. How have you been? Got into VR? Nice! Have you played Genshin Impact by chance, Ness? But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, what? It broke? Incoming host. Rogue, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. Man, I freaking love this game. After millennia of wear and tear, 
Even adept eye contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Is that all creature uh, yes. skits? Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. Also, please what do. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Where is that supply post? Here, post. Okay. Grab me this treasure chest. Ooh, Geo Sigil. Give me that big sword. Mmm. Mmm. Look at all that. Those items. We will get our lovely pro tag out. <laughs> I'm smart. <sighs> ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Wow, that was fast. Ooh. Now, how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Oh, is this going to be a mini game? Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, hi. So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Huh. Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! Yep. The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Okay, CJ, come on out. Barbara? Razor. <laughs> Farewell. Okay. Oh, there's more. Life 
Oh, there's more. Razor. Huh. These low lights didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that. So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. <sighs> Pinon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> We won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Coco Goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. And sure, Toxic. You've got a, uh, the Proto Longsword? Ooh, there is a wisp around here. And a treasure chest in here. Hello, beautiful. Was that why did it okay so there was another treasure chest up in here I saw you while I was coming through nice Okay, so we need to edit our party slightly. Include a fire character. Let's get Amber. Leave it to me. Mm. 
Okay, mm. where are the others? No. Get ready, get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Where are the others? Oh gosh, is this going to be another one of those things? Drapo, help! Oh wait, there it is. Hello. Okay, so there's one more. Where's the last one? If I climbed up there What happens if I climb up here Where's the last one? Okay, it's not around here. However, very pretty sight. It's always the last one, isn't it? Oh, there it is. It's always hiding in plain sight. Always. Get it. Where you going? You gonna lead me to some treasure? Uh, it doesn't... It doesn't always. Uh, Raikou. Raikou, sorry. Not Raikou. Uh, it doesn't always. And I can prove it here. Oh, the star. Okay. Okay, I thought it was these things that were glowing up. Never mind. I was wrong. You were right. Never mind. Thanks for the input. Yeah. 
I was looking at the things that were starting to glow and the un glowy parts and I was like, where is it going? And now I, yeah, I'm dumb. Leave me alone. <sighs> P.S. How are you doing, Ryu? Risio, sorry. I, I'm I'm so sorry. You have your name as dark blue and it's really hard to see on my screen. Hi Risio, how are you doing? Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adeptive Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? It's... She's so cute. Hey, it's, it's been a while since you popped into the stream. How have you been? Chi Chi, do you have any other clues? Coco goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? I love Chi Chi. Ah, here. This is the name. I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi Chi say a bad thing? I love her! Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. She just needs time to work through it. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. You look terrifying, sir. I meant that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. I was? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Spent 85 bucks on this game. Ah, that is, the snake is speaking. And what are you excited? What update are you looking for? Because there's one coming out in a few days. Nothing in the uh, nothing in the U.S. surprises me anymore. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng; she's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense? November one? Uh, I'm excited for that too. Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Phew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Three million? You might as 
we'll just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chieftain have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. No shame. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? <laughs> What? <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Leave me alone. Also, I, I love... What do you think of this game? Hey, I see you. More sympathy. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Ubu Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with stepped deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say two million nine hundred and ninety thousand more. No. That's like zero difference from three million. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Chi Xing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her chi sing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the golden house? Hmm. Not the Exuvia. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Hmm. It's worth so much more, uh... So much more. It'll be great in a year once there's a lot more content. I think the content's fine. At least currently, there's a lot more content in this game than most even AAA games. Like I have had more enjoyment in this game um, than most AAA titles that have come out nowadays. Uh, but let's see, Riccio, I will show you my team right now. So I got uh, Razor. Um, I bought him. I never pulled him. Um, so he unfortunately doesn't have any consolations as of yet. I really want that, that right there. Like that'll make Razor's damage skyrocket. Um, don't worry about her. I have Barbara. <laughs> Ash, how you doing? Ashley! Ash! How you doing, hun? How you doing? Welcome to the stream stream. How might you be this fine name? I have, oh yeah, by the way, Ash. I have Barbara maxed out. 
I don't even have any good. Razor is so good as a DPS. Razor is so good as a DPS. Sunar. Resurrections! Yep. When Barbara is not in the field and one of the other party members falls, automatically revives this character. Fully regenerates this character's HP 200%. This effect can only activate once every 15 minutes. It's all good. Um, have Chi Chi. I got her during my first pity. Um, Protagon, of course. Shungling, and I have Shungling's constellation maxed out as well. I have Fischl, and her constellation is nearly maxed out. Kaya, um, and then we managed to pull Best Boy Ash! <laughs> Look at him! And then the rest of the characters are just kind of... Gib. Razor is such a good DPS. Actually, nice. Also, hi, Zap. How you doing? So, this party, hold on a second. Okay, let's try Spiral Abyss again. Give me, sh give me Shota Bard. I am fantastic. I have my team set up and now I'm debating if I'm going to be pulling for Zhongli or Child. Look at this damage! Look at this damage! Holy crap! Look at this disgusting damage! Okay, need to get rid of those.
Okay. Soon are you too bro broken? <laughs> I am. I. 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 I love this party. I love this party so much. Ooh, yes, please. I love this party so much. Razor is disgusting. Okay. Continue the floor three. Soon are you broke you're too broken. I am not I am not I'm actually not I need to get stronger. It's just I, I don't die with this party comp. Come <laughs> on. 
Orders given. Orders received. <sighs> I feel really good about myself right now. I feel really good right now. Like my damage could serve to be a little higher just to get those last two stars. Because if I can just level up a few more times, imagine how much faster I'd be able to do all that. Like, oh man, this boy. Also, look, Ash, look. Look at him, precious boy. How are you doing, by the way, Ashley? How are you today? Okay. Sorry? Okay, there were some chunks over there. Um Collect that. I'm two away from that. I need to do dailies. But, uh, yes, Zap, are you still in here? Lurking, but yep, yes, I'm doing great. Uh, primarily because I managed to, um, what the? Clear Spiral Abyss 2-3 without taking any damage. Huh. Uh, yes, because of what you just saw. Basically, my team comp is actually kind of good. And I'm happy. And I probably should have uh, taken updated... Um, Uh, 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 official in as well. The, uh, I should have uh, changed gear with official and uh, venti because they share the same gear currently, and that would have boosted my damage output. I might actually do that off stream. Hmm. It's pretty good. I need one. Nope. What? What did I switch it from? Hello. Hello. There we go. World level five. That you're level forty now, I think. 
Yeah. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. So you're at you're about um you're at end game basically Hi, current end game. Well, traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? It's been odd. Odd. I'm not sure if we've been experiencing the. Uh, We've been living the high life. We're experiencing the struggles of being poor. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? Right? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided. Ash, he is probably going to be in the next banner. I'm saving up for him. To treat you to a meal. Zong Li treating? Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall. I need him. Throughout Liu. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Wait until the appointed time. Wee. I need him. Yeah, he's a uh, he's kind of a uh... But, 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 Ash, what do you think of Razor from what you saw of him? Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here. The owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. What? Yeah, no, he he's dumb. So does this mean I can order wine this time? I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess I should have expected this. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Hey, there's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, High above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. Yep, found it. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold! The glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. Who are you? They say that when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources Dig through documents, looking for information. Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. 
But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Niyuan, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tianquan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Paimon, we gotta go! Wait, I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion. And I have come specifically to meet you. Emissary? Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. Okay, so she's a wind element unit. She invites you to her palace in the sky. No. That's ice. She's an ice element unit. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liu at Chising. Paimon still can't believe it! Shut up, Paimon! We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count! We should be on our best manners! I always mind my manners. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Welcome back, Trippo. Made another handsome sum today. To our success. <sighs> Hello. Ten primo gems. <laughs> okay. So here's the question. I think I'll put up this poll. Should we pull for Zongli or should we pull for Child?
Ooh, that's not bad. Go away! You make me uncomfortable. Yeah, and I'm at full HP already. She sells perfume, Zuna. I don't care what she sells. All I know is I want none of it. I'm just collecting quests at the moment or side quests more clear the obstacle stuff uh, let's go here. That's closest. Grab those anim geo signal sigils. Of course, I had to choose the long way. Why wouldn't I choose the long way? the place I'm supposed to go also just for Ash just so Ash can see Listen here. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Big boy. Superconduct.
Weren't you gonna do dailies with someone? Yeah, I was gonna do dailies with Baltic, um, but I I haven't heard from him la other than he wasn't feeling well, and he said it would be later. So I'm kind of waiting on him at the moment. But Ash, you've known me for a while now. Um, does Razor seem like the type of character I would play? Shatter. Hello. <laughs> Another test subject. I got careless. Well, that was easy. Oh man, I'm getting sleepy though. thousand more twenty thousand more ooh that's a good chunk of money ooh that's a good chunk of money I'm also almost AR 33 so here is consumer psychology that said guys I think I'm gonna take a break here I have a meeting at about 5 30 and I want to be awake for that after that i should be back for more genshin but um no promises no promises we'll see how the rest of the day plays out that said how about we give someone a raid how about we give someone 
A raidy raid. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Uh, how we give someone? Shut up me. Raid. Shut up me. Sound? Shut up me. I'm at. I'm at work. Twelve. What? You're at work? Ah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. So who can we raid at the moment? Huh. Who can we raid at the moment? We can raid Penguin. He's playing some Skyrim. Yeah, let's 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 give Penguin a raid. I haven't raided him in a while anyways, so he's Rasping Penguin has some of the most intense um modded Skyrims you'll ever see. Uh, he's got currently he's got over 900 mods installed which is incredible so it, he's also a really cool chill kind of down-to-earth guy so if you guys will join me in the raid that'll be fantastic ah look at those raiders look at you look at you guys you're amazing thank you so much for the uh, for joining in on those raids i am gonna go get some sleep i will probably be back a little later in the evening um for some more genshin impact until then, if you guys, if that's up your alley, I will see you later. Bye.